Now, though, want to go over to Bruce Lashan. He's at Leonardtown Senior High School, where these students were transferred to immediately after the shooting, where they had reunions with family members and parents, some of who had to wait up to three hours for that reunion to take place. Bruce? Lots of tears, hugs, and relief as worried parents arrived here at Leonardtown High School to pick up their children. Did you give your dad a big hug? Yeah, definitely. You were, you were happy to see him. Oh, yeah. Hannah Carlin says she has never been so glad to see her dad. I just hope everyone else is okay. You ready? Yeah. The 17-year-old says it took a while for her to realize that what has happened at far too many schools already was now happening at her school. Then one of my friends just burst into the classroom saying that he had um, that he had heard a gunshot and uh, a few seconds later the principal calls for a lockdown and we all hit as soon as possible. That's when it became real. It is just a 15 minute drive from Great Mills High School to Leonardtown. And she is so scared. But for many parents, it was a very long 15 minutes. Maria Ruiz has twin 15 year olds at Great Mills. They are okay, thanks God. But she is very scared and she wants me to pick it up. It's the kind of terror that no child should have to feel. I heard a, a shot when I was in the bathroom, but I really didn't know like what it was. And when I had came out, I thought it was a fight because how everybody was crowded around. But then teachers and everyone started running and saying, get in the classroom. Parents are left helpless, only able to offer love to ease their children's fears. You're still hugging her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you love her so much. I do. Yeah. Lots of people now mulling this question. Why does this keep happening and how do we stop it? We're going to talk to parents and teens about that coming up at 6. In Leonardtown, in St. Mary's County, Bruce Lashan, WUSA 9.